Hi there, this is Alex from ThingsBoard. In this video, we'll continue to discover usage of MQTT integration module. Last time we provisioned the sensor which streams a temperature. This section describes how to receive remote calls to and from the device using control widgets. Go to your dashboard groups, create a dashboard. Open the dashboard, enter the edit mode and add sensor 1 as an alias. Select filter type signal entity, type device and choose our sensor 1. Press add and then save. Now add new widget. Select control widgets from drop down menu and choose any knob control widget. The data source is sensor which represents our sensor 1. Go to Advanced tab and set minimum value to 15 and maximum value to 70, for example. Leave the rest by default. On the Settings tab, set number of digits of the floating point to 0 and save the change to the dashboard. Now move to Root Rule Chain. Enable Debug mode for Message Type Switch node and go to your knob. Turn it couple of times. This event should be displayed in the message type switch node on the events tab. The incoming message with the message type RPC call from server to device and relation type RPC request to device appeared among other messages. Check out what data and metadata has been sent by the knob control to the rule engine. To make sense of performing these commands, you must forward messages with the RPC request to device type to the downlink data converter. You have to modify the root rule chain. Turn on the edit mode and find the integration downlink node. Name it. Select the MQTT integration and click add. Drag a connection from the message type switch node to MQTT integration downlink node link label RPC request to device, click add. Now go to data converter section. Open your MQTT downlink converter provisioned in previous tutorial. If you missed that, please follow the link in the description or click on the card you see on the screen. Once you open the downlink converter, put the function code in. The script removes quotes from message params value which comes as quoted string and passes it to integer. Then it builds a result object which is passed to the integration. In our case, the integration downlink topic is configured by default, which means that the integration will take the metadata topic and use it as downlink topic. Open the terminal window and execute the following command. Go to Dashboard and turn the wheel again. In your terminal window you should receive series of the incoming message sent by the knob control widget. Now try to simulate sending RPC request to the device and receiving a response. To have this you should modify converters to send downlink messages to this topic. and receive device responses on this topic. Let's change the downlink converter code to send message to this topic. Then prepare the applink converter to receive the response message. Go to MQTT applink converter and paste the following code. The script above is slightly different from what we had initially. It distinguishes between post telemetry request and RPC call responses, thus publishing different kind of output to rule engine. You also must add a topic filter in your integration in order to receive RPC response messages.
Now run device simulator. The mosquito pub and mosquito sub is not suffice. So please use an advanced simulator. The download link is in the description. Try to turn the knob wheel on a dashboard. In a terminal window you should have an output similar to this. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and may the things board with you!